The new Counter-Strike Global Offensive operation is almost here. It will be adding some new maps, new weapon skins, probably a new crate, new operation missions, and a bunch more surprises. But no matter how many things a new operation will bring, you would be surprised how few people actually know what Counter-Strike Global Offensive has to offer. And that is why this is the top 7 CSGO features you never knew existed. I'm not talking about things that maybe were in a beta once and now aren't in the game anymore. No, no, no. These are features in the game that a lot of players don't know exist and it'll make your life a lot easier. Some of you, the more dedicated players, probably know of these already. But the majority of the several million players that Counter-Strike Global Offensive has probably aren't aware of some of them. So to make sure everyone is at an even playing field, let's get it started with number 7. Advanced Crosshair Customization. For some reason, Valve decided to only let you customize your crosshair very little within the game settings. You can choose the color and you can choose a general shape. That's it. But the game has so much more to offer. All you have to do is open up the console and type CL underscore crosser and you will get a jillion bajillion options. Now if that's too much for you, if you don't understand what they are, no problems, you'll find on the internet sites that will actually let you choose what kind of crosser you would want, like visually, it will even let you test it, and then they will give you all the commands you need to enter into the game and have that exact crosser in Counter-Strike. There's even maps, custom maps made for Counter-Strike, you can find them in the workshop, that will customize your crosser exactly the way you want it. This is a highly recommended thing that you do because the default crosshairs tend to be invisible in bright light and well not that useful to anyone that actually wants to get ahead in this game. Number six, team chat. Now you may say that everyone knows about this but from my experience I would say no because you see the point of team chat is to let you talk with your teammates in Counter-Strike Global Operations so the enemy can't hear you, well can't read what you're typing. This way you can give each other information about what you're doing, where you're going, where the enemy is, what weapons they had, if they had the bomb, if they're going somewhere else, you know, information that may be pivotal to you actually winning the game and maybe finally ranking up out of silver. So, team chat located on the letter T is very important, so use it. Number 5. The voice chat off button. Now, in order to talk in Counter-Strike, Gerbil, or to Dantes, you have to press a voice chat button. You can set it to be on any button you want. I have it set on my mouse because I have extra buttons on it and it's, it's good to have it on hand. But you may also wonder, how exactly do I disable this? Let me rephrase that. I'm a 12 year old Russian kid that's probably a bit drunk because parents don't really care that their children drink in Russia. It's sort of a national hobby and I am constantly swearing and yelling and screaming in the voice chat and I'm wondering, hmm, how do I not let my teammates hear me yell and scream like someone that has either been beaten too much or not enough? Well, there's a solution. All you have to do is take your finger off that voice chat button you assigned earlier and pressed in order to start talking. Yes, you have the ability to scream like a total moron and not have your teammates hear you. And guess what? If you do that, they will like you even more. And to make sure that they will always like, that they will love you, go into the options and disable voice chat entirely. Yeah, you probably won't be able to listen to what they're saying to you, but let's face it, they're probably swearing because you're not that good of a player because you're 12 and you're drunk. Number 4. Tapping. In Counter-Strike Glorified Ornithopter, you have the ability to fire your gun by pressing slightly on the mouse button. Yes, I know, instinctually you will smash that button like it's something you've never seen in your life and not let go until the ammo runs out or you're dead. At which point you will start swearing because you're 12. At best, you're probably 10 and your parents have no idea what you're doing and you're sad on the inside because they're ignoring you and you're taking it out on people through Counter-Strike Gratuitous Osprey. But if you actually want to play the game better, instead of jamming your finger into that button like you do up your nose before you eat a booger, just press it slightly. You'll find that a lot of weapons suddenly become more accurate if you just fire a couple of shots. Try to aim for the head if you can. I know the game sometimes won't register hits and the whole recoil is honestly some RNG bullshit that follows a predefined range of where to randomly spray bullets, but still, you will have a much higher accuracy than just by blindly firing all over the place. Number 3. Modes other than ranked. It may surprise you, but Counter-Strike Genetic Opera has a lot of modes to play. Yes, there is ranked and just about everybody plays ranked, everybody's a gold master scout, Falcon Sergeant of Master Sergeant's Major, but you could 
try other game modes. You could try the casual one, which is like ranked, but you don't rank down when you play like a total asshole. You can try arms race, which is quite nice now that they've added all the weapons to it. Though it wouldn't hurt if they added more maps to it. There's demolition, which is like ranked, but you don't buy weapons, you get them as you shoot people. And there's a ton of servers with custom game modes that let you do all sorts of things, even cooperative missions. Cooperative for the general Counter-Strike Gravity Oriental player is something that you do in order to win with your teammates, not by yourself because you won't be able to. So try them all. You'll have fun. Probably even more fun than in ranked. Number two, not cheating. I know to some of you this may seem impossible, but Counter-Strike Grey Ocelot does have a neat feature called don't cheat. To enable this feature, all you have to do is not cheat. Don't activate any wall hack, any aimbot, any ping hack, anything. You don't need them to enable this feature. And if you do enable it, if you play Counter-Strike by not cheating, you won't get vac banned. Well, not that Valve would actually vac ban cheaters. They do that even less than Ubisoft did back before Battle Eye and Rainbow Six Siege. But you will be less what people would call a cancer upon society that validates the death penalty, abortions, and sarin gas. So if you don't cheat, you may actually not cause people to want to hunt you down in real life and shove you up your own posterior. And the number one feature you probably didn't know existed is the uninstall feature. Let's face it, Counter-Strike may not be for everyone. Especially if you're 12 from Russia, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova, Hungary, Greece, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, the UK, Sweden, Norway. If you're anywhere near me and you're 12 and you cheat and you swear like a motherfucker and you scream like an idiot and or I mean you don't have to be all of these, just some of these, then you should really consider the uninstall feature because once you use that feature the quality of the game will increase considerably for everyone else. It will be a Amazing. Yeah, I know, you won't be playing it anymore. But the people that are playing it will enjoy it so much more because you're not here. It's like your absence is happiness for all the people still playing Counter-Strike Gorgonzola Opinionator. So use it and go read a book. Or go read Wikipedia. Or watch a documentary by James Burke. Or go to sleep. Or do your homework. It's 10 p.m. You have school tomorrow, you little bastard. And that's it for the top 7 CSGO features you never knew existed. I look forward to your comments with more features that probably people never knew existed in this glorious game. Because I sure as hell have one that Valve never knew about. Hit detection! If you enjoyed this show, hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends. Or, if you thought it was horrible, then share it with your enemies and make them suffer. We shall be your weapon of vengeance. But if you liked what you saw, you could, I don't know, maybe donate because basically YouTube is horrible at revenue by using the link in the description or just buy my book. It's a fantasy book about, well, a lot of stuff. I guarantee it won't suck, and if it does suck, you can find me here and complain about it.